the Philadelphia 76ers 2018 to 2019 season was kind of a super team. They had many good players. They have Jimmy Butler, Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid, Tobias Harris, Big Four, and J.J. Redick, which was thought of as the best starting lineup in that season of any team. But they also had a good bench, decent bench. We'll talk about that bench later. But why did they fail? They were after the Jimmy Butler and Tobias Harris trade, which they kind of got a steal with Butler only getting traded for Sarridge and Robert Covington, maybe like a first round pick. They and they also traded for Tobias Harris. They were thought as the best player team in the East, maybe Milwaukee Bucks 2018-19, but they were thought as the best team in the East. The reason why they did not do that well, not on the stat sheets, but they did not have as much time to play together. As you see, Mike Scott only played 27 games. They had Tobias Harris and Jimmy Butler not play that many games together. They didn't mesh too well. They didn't have much chemistry. Another reason why many teams lose, like the Lakers with Super Team and also the Clippers 2019 to 2020 season. Another reason is that you see in the stats, many people were doing very well. Ben Simmons was averaging 17 points along with seven assists and nine rebounds. Tobias Harris was averaging 18 and eight rebounds, which was really good because Joel Embiid averaged a 14 and 28 MVP-like stats. Jimmy Butler didn't do too well, but he still averaged 18 and five per game. But they had too many people that are ball dominant shown here in the advance for their usage rate. Joel was 33%. Jimmy's 23, not that much, but Ben Simmons 22 and JJ Redick is 22 also. Tobias Harris is also 21. Their bench was decent, consisted of Robert Covington was not there anymore. They had J.J. Redick, who averaged 18 points per game. Phenomenal season. Dario Saric, who averaged 11. Wilson Chandler was a decent player. Mike Scott, Marcus was injured. Mike Buscala, Landry Shamit, Corey Brewer, T.J. McConnell, James Ennis, Jonathan Simmons, Cork Boss, some other players. But... In the playoffs, many players started to, to not play that well. We have Tobias Harris only shooting 35% from three. Jimmy Butler's horrendous 27% from three. Joel Embiid also horrendous. They did not shoot well at all. Also, they just score less. Their stats, many people's stats dropped. Tobias Harris dropped. Jimmy Butler did better, but like, he didn't shoot as well. Joel Embiid dropped from 28 to 20 only, and JJ Redick is only averaging 13 points per game. And their bench wasn't really that good either. Yeah, so many people didn't have as much usage rate because they didn't do well. JJ Reddick did not do well that much, having a negative 2.1 box plus minus. The rest did decent in box plus minus, but they had a drop on their stats and efficiency. Probably because 
they were not that much chemistry. Of the inbounder here if you're Philly. It's off the Leonard, defended by Simmons. Is